Hello everybody, this is Al, the Partner Products Manager, and today I wanted to talk about downloading updates for your version 25. We did just release a new update. Uh, to find this update, you can go to Support, Downloads, Updates, and then from here, uh, this will take us to the page where you can download either the 32 or 64-bit version. Uh, if you're interested in learning about the changes that were made to the version 25, you can uh, read the release notes either in a PDF or right here. Okay. Now, the next thing that I kind of want to look at here is when you do update the software, it typically resets your screen uh, layout. and um, or if you're a new customer, uh, this would be your starting point uh, as far as uh, the way that the software screen uh, is laid out with the toolbar. So what I'm going to do is uh, quickly show you how to uh, edit and customize this. Now, there are a number of different toolbars that are located uh, throughout the software, and you can see you can just grab these and pull them down. Uh, the majority of these toolbars, I typically uh, turn them off. Uh, I like a little cleaner of an interface and uh, you have the ability to uh, utilize these functions either from a right mouse feature or you can always go through the top menu. So that's a preference and mine is to have less uh, less information on the screen than not. Now, one of the other things that I want to do is uh, I'm going to drag my Layer UCS Post Manager over here to the right, and then I will also turn on my uh, Measure Entity window, and I'll put that over here as well, because uh, this is how I prefer to have my screen laid out. There's uh, some additional customization that I want to do. I want to get rid of a few of these buttons here and I want to add some buttons that I use on a regular basis like trim 1, trim 2 and then I typically will also have uh, measure 1, measure 2 and there is a view normal that I like to have up here as well. So that's a very easy way to uh, make customization to your screen interface. The next topic that I wanted to look at is dealing with um, Dealing with bad or untrimmed or unusable geometry, this definitely happens on occasion. And in this example, we have this uh, this uh, part here, this flange or bracket, and you can see in green is our toolpath, and you can see how the toolpath is not uh, following all the way around the outside of the shape. Now. One of the ways to kind of tell what's going on here is you can go back to your start point uh, position for this geometry and you can modify it. And when I do that, you can see that we have a number of different start points uh, throughout the chain. And when you're profiling, you typically will really only have a start point. Uh, or you'll have a start point and end point if it's an open chain. So this clearly shows us that we have some geometry issues. So what I'm going to do here is attempt to clean it up. Now this is not my file. This was uh, uh, sent to me from a vendor. So what I'll do is just blank out some of the geometry here. Uh, one of the things that I typically look for is I'll select an entity and delete it and it, as you can see when I did that there's geometry still there uh, so there are multiple uh, double entities here now uh, or at least on that line we do have a tool that will help you clean this up you can go to utilities reorganize erase doubles select our geometry spacebar and what that should do is get rid of any of the double entities and you can see it's done that now the other thing we can do is make arcs tangential, which will make sure we have a tangency throughout the geometry. What we can do to check to make sure that it's uh, contiguous or a good path to work with is shift, left click, uh, go to selection mode first, shift, left click, and if it doesn't go all the way around, we definitely know that there's a problem. Uh, wherever it stops, you can zoom in usually you'll see a, a break or an issue and uh, with this particular drawing it's uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what happened here or what the problem is uh, the typical cleanup methods 
were uh, unsuccessful. So what I'm going to do here is just measure this radius so I know what the size of the radius is. And um, what's kind of confusing is it, it does vary on three sides here. Uh, and I think that that has something to do with the problem. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete these lines for just a moment. And uh, I'm going to attempt to do a tangent line from this circle to that circle, this circle to that circle, this circle to that circle. And try to chain select it again and, and you can see that uh, it's, uh, it's not going all the way through. So there, there's definitely a problem. So I'm going to create a new layer, make it active, dimension, radius, and I'm going to throw these dimensions on the screen here. So we'll do one there, one here, one here. Okay. I'm going to uh, point arc center, put a point at the arc center of each of these radiuses here. I'm going to go ahead and delete these radiuses and then I'm going to redraw them. Now this could have come in from uh, a different CAD package where there could be some uh, tolerance issues. A lot of times I don't question why there is a problem, even though, I don't know if you can see this here, that's just a little segment of geometry, that would be problematic. I can also see uh, another segment of geometry here which I'll delete. Okay, we'll do arc fillet, 0.1517, okay, now we have that one, and then we have our last one here, this is 0.1492, okay. So now that we've uh, redrawn our radiuses, I'll go back to a selection, shift, left click, you can see it goes all the way around. I'll come back into the cam tree, remove my geometry, reselect, shift, left click. Uh, okay. There obviously is still a problem here, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to delete these lines this time. Let's try our tangent line again. Chain select. Okay, it's going all the way around. There we go. Set our start position. Again, you can move this around to wherever you might want it to be. Go ahead and compute. Uh, it looks like I have the start position going the wrong way. There we go. And now you can see that it, we have a nice, clean, contiguous path. So sometimes uh, when working with imported files, you, you're, you can run into geometry uh, problems or situations. So if you may need to redraw some of the geometry to clean it up, this was an example of that. And hopefully you found this information useful. Thank you so much, guys.